Hey guys, how's it going? Paul Harris here. It's Saturday, which means another Excel tips video. This time I'm breaking down the data from a monthly format into a weekly format. Okay, something that looks like this, into something that looks like this. Now, why do you want to do this? Well, in finance, generally speaking, you want to break down the data into different sort of formats. And if you're preparing like a forecast or a budget, you may not have it in a weekly format. You know, a lot of data will be split up in monthlies. And then afterwards, you need to split the data into a week. Now, the complication comes because certain weeks go over from one month to the next. So, you know, you might have three days in week five ending January, and then the following four days might be in the start of February, something like that. So it's quite actually a relatively tricky task and a fiddly one to do on Excel. But I break down some easy steps here that should hopefully get you on your way. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. Even if you don't really need to know how to do calendarization, there's some useful tips here in terms of how to use Excel, which I think will help you with other tasks. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we have a set of data here. You can see it's split into months. You have your year, month, quarter, product, color, units, price, revenue. And you can see everything split down into Jan, Feb, all the way to December. And we want to be able to split this data into a weekly format. Now, there's several steps here. The first thing that's useful to do is work out how many unique sets of data. What I mean by that is you can see here how it says like the year, the, the months, the quarters, the product, and then you have black being the color. So for instance, this will be one set of data. And what I've done here on the left-hand side is I've counted how many sets of data there is. So there's obviously the first 12 months is one set of data. Then you do one plus the count on cell A5. Then if you double click that and drag it down, you can see at the bottom of this table, we have nine unique sets of data. So nine sets of 12. And that'll come in useful later on. What you need to do next is start to create a template that's gonna help you decide how to split each month into set weeks. And the best way to do that is by actually first writing out the first day of that year. So we're going to work on 2020 and just start to write that data out. And you want to start creating new columns for day, month, year. Okay, so we're starting to build up a table here. So then you have count and you're just going to put one here. Okay, and now you can see that we're building up a set of data for the calendarization. Now, if you change this format here as well, so you, you know this is a date, but you wanted to be able to say that what day it is, you can see here that you, you start the 1st of January on Wednesday. Uh, you know, your first day might start on every Sunday. So actually where you want to start is by saying which week this actually belongs to. So from Wednesday to Saturday, you might think of it as week zero within the financial year, which can happen. And then the following week is gonna start on a Sunday as week one. Go to Saturday, because our week is going from Sunday to Saturday. So you're gonna have seven days of that. And now once you have that set in, you know that each week obviously has seven days. And you can again do this formula where you pick up cell I7, you go plus one. And now what you can do is it's gonna create the same formula all the way down where you're gonna have your set weeks in a reference to what date it is. So there's another column that I'm gonna need here and that's gonna be how many days are in that month. And then I'm gonna do a VLOOKUP again to my reference table. I'm gonna say if it's month one and I go back to my reference table and I say if it's month one, how many days is there in that month? You can drag that down and you just start to create, you're working in Excel, you always wanna just create rows of data because it's much easier to manipulate the data when there are rows of it because you can do VLOOKUPs and SUMIFs going across. There's one extra column I'm gonna have here and that's a SUMIF formula that tells me in that given month and in that given week, how many days were there? So do a SUMIF formula and the way we're gonna do this is by First counting, you see how I have that count row, which is just saying one on every single row. What I'm gonna do is count this row, and I'm gonna say if there was, you know, if there was week zero, and if there was month one, 
count how many days were there. So you can see how there was four days in week zero. And there you have your set of data that you can now drag down that we're going to be able to use for the next step. So now we've created this set of data, we can pivot it and create a template that is going to be able to convert the other data in monthly format into a weekly format. So start by pivoting this data, insert pivot. So you want the months and you want the month name and you want the week. So you go down, you find the week. Okay, so this is your first set of data that you want to template. Let's do pivot table options, change this to classic pivot table. And you want to take away the subtotals, you want to take away the grand totals, don't want those. And now you want to drag in, firstly, the count. So the count is going to be how many days were in that week. So in week zero, there was four days. And you can see here how the complications arrive, because in week four, you have six days that are in January and one day that's in February. So the next thing you want to do, now you, if you recall, I did have two sets of lines. I had the days that are in that month and the sum if formula, which was going add up how many days were in that specific week within that specific month. And the reason why I added those in is because now you can create a formula that goes percentage splits. And the formula you want is you want to take the sum if formula and you want to divide it by the day two formula. So, and there you have it, there you have the splits now, the percentage splits of each week and how many days are in each week. Now, obviously in a certain company, you might have seasonality. So these percentages might not necessarily be correct in terms of you might have a lower month or lower weeks during like Easter holidays and things like that. So you might need to account for that and you can do that by just creating a column to the side that says, okay, this is my base level, which is to assume like all the revenue is going to be calculated on a flat line basis. But the next line across, you've got one are going to you might want to adjust that and you're going to have to do that manually for seasonality. So there's the template that you need in order to translate the data from months to weeks. We want to, re um, we want to repeat the data, so go back to design and go to report layouts and repeat all lines. And what you want to do is count up how many rows there actually are. So here you can see there is 62 lines. So it's not 52 because there's there's certain weeks that go over and duplicate over certain months. So there's 62 lines. Now, remember I said it was worth counting how many rows of unique data you have from your monthly view. And if you recall, there was nine sets of data. And here we have 62 lines of weeks. So what you're going to want to do is split nine sets of data. So what I, if I go back to the furniture, you'll have chairs and black chairs, you'll have brown chairs. You want to split each of those categories across 62 weeks of data. So the total number of rows that you're going to need is nine times 62, which is 558 rows of data. That's how many you're going to have to translate the months into weeks. So now you create a separate sheet and you want to go and drag down 558 rows of data. Now you could scroll down like this, which isn't a great method. What you want to do is press F5, and that brings up this box that goes go to, and you want to go A558, and it'll just go to cell A558, and you write in here 558, and you go equals that minus one. As you can see, that's one of my favorite techniques and you go up and you press enter. Why did I just do that, creating 558 rows of data? Well, in order for you to be able to click a formula and press that down box, you know, that little square there that drags the formula down, you need a, a row of data which is complete that goes down however many sets you need. So it, because I've now created that, I can now create formulas in here and press that little box like this, it'll drag right down to row 558, which is the row I know I need to go up to. So we have 558 rows of data, and we know 
each set of data needs to go across 62 lines. So, because that's how many weeks I need to split each data up. So, 62 lines, you go one and you create a reference, which is to say the first set of data will be allocated to ones. Then the next set, so you have 62 rows, that's the first set of data. Again, you want to go up to the top and go plus one on cell B2. You can see here, now when I drag down, you're going to have nine unique sets of data over 62 rows, okay? So that's what you're doing is creating a reference file that you're going to be able to search for the monthly data and create a VLOOKUP to create your data as going across the columns. So the next thing you want to do is basically go across to where you had your weekly splits and simply copy this across to sheet 12, which is where we just copied the 62 rows. And you can see if we go down to the bottom, 62 rows, you end on row one. And what you want to do is just repeat this data because this data is exactly the same, just repeat this across by doing equals D2, and then drag this across and drag this down, because you just want to repeat the data for each separate row. And now what you want to do is search for, and this is why I've created this column here within the data set. I've created month and the count. So the count is being the first unique set of data, which is the first 12 months, so that's one, and the month is January because you want to split month of January on set on the first set of data across each of the separate weeks where it says January, okay? So you have Jan 1. Now if I go back to sheet 2, I can create the same unique reference here. So Jan and and reference 1. And you can see what I'm doing here is now when I pick up a VLOOKUP, I can search for Jan 1 against this set of data and I can pick up all the files. So I want to repeat this set of data. So the next thing I do is basically want to pick up everything here, go across the sheet 2, create these headings so we know what we're doing. And you want to do equals VLOOKUP, search for Jan 1 and you want to freeze that on columns, go back to data, find rows B, go all the way across, and then you want to freeze those columns. Now you want to do a match formula instead of having to, instead of having to go, I want to search for, you know, across three, across four, across five, you do a match formula. You look up the value, which is going to be your column heading, which is year. Then you want to freeze the row. Then you want to go back to the data, and you want to go across from column B, which is where you're first searching, and just scroll across all the columns. The match type is zero, and then you want to end your VLOOKUP by clicking false. And you can see here it's pulled across the year. Scroll all the way across, double click down, and there you have your set of data repeating over and over again, and it's allocated to the right areas. So you have your JANs, where your JANs need to be for the weeks, then, so you can call this heading week, we need this one, that's how many days are in the weeks. You can hide all this now because we already have this set of data from I over. And now you want to do is multiply units and revenue by the percentage splits. So you want to do units multiplied by split. You can do this revenue multiplied by the split and then your price is going to be the revenue divided by the units, which should match this price. Drag all the way down. Now you can hide this, tidy it up a bit. And there you have your weekly splits. Now that's again using the assumption that each section of revenue in your budget or forecast going forward is going to assume uh, an equal, you know, flat phasing. But that's a good starting point for creating a set of data that is going to split your months into weeks using whatever week format you want. That should help. Now, of course, you could automate this by, you know, instead of just copy and pasting the split, you could pick up from the pivot table, for instance, and then drag down. 
But overall, there's a tricky task. There should be some things useful there, even if you don't necessarily need to do the calendarizations, things like the VLOOKUP match formulas and other bits of detail there, but that's how you do it without having to use any macro or anything complicated. A bit fiddly, lots of different steps there. Hopefully you're able to follow it. Hopefully that's useful. See you next Saturday for another Excel tip. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye-bye.